my list. My name is Lisa and I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm so excited because this is another one of my 20 minute standing Pilates workouts. We're going to be toning up your total body, so getting it all, your abs, your arms, your legs, your booty, full body here with no equipment. This is all going to be low impact so it's really gentle on those joints. So if you're ready, let's go right ahead and get into it. We're going to start this workout in the center of our mat with three big breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last one. We want to start by warming up the body, so give me some circles in the neck. Release the muscles of the face and just focus on that breathing. Reverse those circles. And we're going to cross one arm back. Give me a few circles. And forward. Over to the other one. Just making sure we're nice and loose. Bring those circles forward. Arms out to a T. We're going to cross your left hand to the outside of your right foot and bring it up. Switch sides. Lengthening the backs of those legs. You can take it slow, especially if you get dizzy as you're leaning forward and coming back up to standing. Give me a couple more. And last one. Lift it up, open up those hips. A lot of people hold a lot of tension in those hips. It's so important to stretch them out. By the way, if at any point you need to stand against the wall so that you can hold it for balance or maybe have a chair next to you, that is totally okay. Because I will be challenging your balance a little bit here with this workout. Improving your stability, your mobility, your posture, of course. All right, lastly, you're gonna circle out those ankles and switch. Great job. From here, we're gonna start with some full body extensions. However, we're gonna alternate kickbacks. So, feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna send your butt back, hinge forward just a little bit, and as you come up, you're gonna send one leg back, and then switch for the next time. Coming up onto that toe, so you get that little calf raise. Just getting that heart rate up a little bit. You got it, working total body here. Set an intention for your workout that you're going to give it all that you got. It's just 20 minutes of your day. Nicely done. Give me a few more. Last one. Send it down. Nicely done. We're going to come into a narrow squat once again. This time, no full body extension. So you're gonna send it back, send your butt back behind you, chest up, shoulders back, and we're gonna squeeze those shoulders. So arms come forwards and back, forwards and back. Staying nice and low. Making sure your weight is in those heels so that we're really activating the booty, activating those glutes. Those knees should not come over your toes. You got it. Now we're gonna take it up a notch, just a little bit. We're gonna come up onto one toe, lower it down, and switch. With every squeeze, you're gonna switch calf raises. Keeping your butt nice and low. Abs tight, draw that belly button into the spine. Chest up, shoulders back, creating length through the body. Sitting up nice and tall, nice and proud. Now get down even lower. You got it. Last four, three, two, one. Stay nice and low. Calf raises just one side. You can relax those hands. You can hold them out to the side. You can hold them up to the air if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. You got it. Embrace that burn. It's making you stronger. Give me six more. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and switch. Once again, whatever you want with those arms, you can hold them out. You can hold them up if you want to challenge yourself. Any shaking you're feeling in the body, that's okay, that just means it's working. Give me six more, five, four, three, two, one, come up, squeeze, and lower down. Lift and squeeze, lower it down. Keep going just like that. Give me eight of these. Last five, four, keep it up. Three, two, and one. Nicely done, arms up, fold it forward, reach. Bend one knee, then the other. Taking a moment to catch our breaths. And slowly roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing to come up is your head roll those shoulders back. We're gonna go into our next move. So we've got a curtsy lunge to a kick. So you're gonna keep your front knee forward. You're gonna step back and out to the side just a little bit. Come down, knee is still in line with that toe. As you stand up, you're going to kick. If you need to modify, curtsy, tap in the middle, and then kick. Here we go. You got it, eyes forward. It helps to focus on one thing in front of you to help with that balance. Working into those abductors as you kick to the side. You got it. I feel so nice and strong after this. We're working into those obliques with that kick as well. Strengthening those quads and that booty, those hamstrings with every curtsy. Keep those nice and pretty, nice and tall. You got it. Give me four more of these. Last three. Two. Last one, we're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it on up. Before we go over to that other side, we wanna do some oblique crunches. So the same way you are kicking, that leg is gonna come out to the side. Gonna bring that knee to the elbow. And let's go. Side crunch, squeeze it out. Standing abs. You got it, which by the way, I will link a standing abs video down below if you want to do a little extra after this. Nice work. Give me eight more. Five, four, three, two, one, squeeze. Lower it down. Onto that other side, curtsy squat. Shake it out real quick. Woo. All right, chest up, shoulders back, abs in tight. Step back and over to the side, curtsy lunge and kick. Curtsy lunge if you need to, tap in the middle and kick. Let's go. You got it. Whew, almost lost my balance there. It really helps to, uh, helps to find a spot in front of you and focus on it. Breathe through that burn. With every rep, we are getting stronger. Just focus on that, focus on those goals. I also really want you to focus on and remember the fact that everybody's bodies are different, everybody's fitness journeys are going to be different. We've all been through different experiences and that's a good thing, otherwise life would be so boring, right? So you can't be too hard on yourself, if maybe you're having a little bit of trouble at a certain move, because it is your fitness journey and you will get there. Give me four more of these. Last two, Woo. and last one, kick. 
We're gonna pulse out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Whew, of course, we gotta complete it with that side crunch. So step that leg out. Elbow comes up. We're gonna crunch out to the side. Oblique crunch. Let's go. I want you exhaling as you crunch. Tighten those abs, draw that belly button into the spine. Nice work. Give me six more. Four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Feet out wide, arms to a T. Slide your right hand down your leg, left hand comes up and over. Quick little stretch. Make sure you're not pressing on your knee too hard with that other hand. Hug to the T. Whew, I'm out of breath. And switch. See, these kinds of workouts, they kick my butt too. They look simple, but they are challenging. And lift it on up. We're gonna work into those arms just a little bit, tone up especially those shoulders. So, we're gonna start in goal post. Relax the fingers. We're gonna pulse forward and back, forward and back. Squeezing into those shoulder blades right here. Let's go. Nice comfortable stance here. Forward and back. Almost like you're hopping a little fence but never dropping those elbows lower than shoulder level. You gotta relax those muscles in the face. Focus on your breathing and squeezing those shoulders back. We wanna strengthen those muscles in the back so that we can stand up nice and tall, improve our posture. Abs tight here. Always working and always working hard. Nicely done. Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those arms up. We're gonna pulse it just straight. No sending it back. Little tiny pulses. Allowing those shoulders to burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Keep those arms just as they are. We're gonna fold it down. So notice how my elbows are still in the same place and we're gonna punch. So goal post punchers. Up, down, punch, and back. Up, down, punch, and back. Let's go. Burning right along with me. Now as we add that punch, we're squeezing into those triceps. That's really gonna help define the arms, those muscles in the back of the arms. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders up too high to your ears. Nice job. Try not to rock your body side to side, forward and back with this. All of that work is in those arms. You are crushing this. I know it burns. That just means it's working. All exercise is, it's a celebration of what your body can do. It's not a punishment. Change your thinking, you change your outlook, you change your life, right? All about perspective. How many more cheesy things can I say during this video? Goodness gracious. Keep it up, make sure those elbows are staying up. Give me three more, two, last one. Pulse it out, elbows facing down. Whew, I'm on fire. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Palms up, slight bend in those elbows. Circles forward. All of these little movements, you don't expect it to burn so much, but it does. Great, reverse those circles, squeezing into that back just a little bit. Give me eight more of these. Last five, 
four, three, two, one. Lift those arms up, lower it down. Lift and lower, angel arms. Lift and lower, relax the fingers. Give me six more, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Ooh, quick little shimmy, quick little shake. Bring that right arm across your body. Look over that right shoulder. And switch out, left arm across your body. Look over your left shoulder. Ooh, that stretch feels good. Great job, release it down, little shimmy, little shake. Once again, we're gonna really do work on our posterior chain, so all of those muscles in the back of your body, toning them up, that's what we're gonna do next. So, your right arm is gonna come up with your left leg. So arm comes up, kick back, point your toe, lower it down, lift and lower. Slight bend in that right leg, that stabilizing leg. Keep those abs tight. Nicely done. Point that toe, make it pretty, look straight ahead, keep your chest up, your shoulders back. And this is one of those moves if you need to grab the wall or a chair, you can. But remember, every time you catch a wiggle, you're strengthening those stabilizing muscles. Lift and lower, lift and lower, just barely tapping that toe down on the floor. Abs in tight, engage your core. Give me eight more of these. Last four, you can do it. Three, two, one, lift, and hold it for eight, seven, six, squeeze into that booty. Four, three, two, one, release it down, other side. So stabilizing with that left leg, slight bend in that knee. Left arm comes up, right leg comes back, let's go. Lift and lower. Nice and graceful, point that toe. You got it. We're almost to the end of this workout. Stay strong all the way until the end. Give me eight more. Last four, three, two, one, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release it down. Nicely done, one final move. Toes facing out, chest up, shoulders back. Relax the muscles, we're gonna calf raise, double calf raise here, lift and lower, squeezing those thighs together. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Breathe through it, this is your final move. Try not to let those heels fully rest on the mat before lifting them up once again, just to fully challenge yourself. All of these exercises, they only work as hard as you do. Give me six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it and release it down. Whew, let's stretch it all out. Just like how we started, feet out wide, arms to a T. You're gonna reach your left arm to the outside of that right leg, but this time we're gonna hold it. And lift it up, other side. Walk those hands to the middle, pulse those arms through those legs.
hands down on the floor or the mat. You're gonna bend one knee, then the other. If you need to step out even wider for this, you can. Stand it on up. We're gonna stretch out those shoulders and those abs. So hands behind you, interlace those fingers. Chest opens up, look up to the sky. Breathe here, make sure you're not holding your breath. Release those hands, lift them up. Come into our back bend. And release it down. We're gonna finish by just doing some circles with the neck once again. Reverse those circles. Lower those shoulders away from the ears. Perfect, find that neutral spine. One more big breath into the nose, out through the mouth, and you're done. Great job. As I was filming this, I just realized that my two most popular series on my channel is my standing Pilates and my lazy girl workout. Now the lazy girl workout is all on the mat, and then my standing one is all, you know, standing of course. So for some reason, nobody likes the ones that are combos. Why? I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute total body toning standing Pilates workout. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this one. I put out new workouts Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. And if you wanna be notified when those go up, you can ring that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram for some bonus workouts and content. And head on over to my second YouTube channel, Alyssa Schwartz. It's a lifestyle channel and subscribe to me on there. Thanks for joining me. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.